It's Jimmy. It's Jimmy. Uh, all this work that goes into you're finally at the premiere. What does it feel after the journey kind of comes to an sense end after the whole process of the putting the film together, shooting it? Um, is it relief? Is it kind of sadness? What are you feeling? Well, it's definitely relief. Um, it's like having a baby and then you know having him to go to school on his own. You know, you dress him up very nicely and then yeah, there he goes. You know? What's next? Do you kind of plan ahead once a film kind of ends like this? What what do you like to do? Do you like to take some time off usually or, or go back into it right away, keep on going? Oh, I, I, you know, my day job is uh, TV commercials and I've been doing TV commercials since we stopped shooting the film, so it didn't all change much. Yeah, all this work to do, you have to pay the rent. You know, there's, it's a very different process to do commercials than film. What have you, how have you differentiated after working on both? I mean, because commercials, you, you shoot them so quick, they go by so fast, and you just like one onto another. Um, how do you differentiate kind of the process of, of commercials than going to a film? Well, the process is more or less the same. You know, there's an idea, you have to put it on screen. Uh, commercials pay much better. So. <laughs> No, I gotta ask you. Everyone's talking kind of like the the big talk is you know the coronavirus, and you're obviously from Italy, and it's there's a lot going on back home uh, for you. Tell me kind of what what have, what's been going on at home, and, and like how, how has it affected you personally right now? Uh, well, I live in London, so it doesn't affect me that much yet. I think it's gonna get there as well. So. It's pretty scary, though. We're in scary times, kind of uncertainty in a lot of ways, right? Yeah, well, yeah, it's not just the coronavirus. You know, there's uh, many, many other things that scares me. Yes, yes, he's the star of the show. You know, I wanted to ask you, I, I didn't ask you earlier at the press thing, the chemistry between this man and Elizabeth, it was just something, I don't know if you can teach that. Tell me the process, tell me the process that they seem like they've known each other for so long. How did how did that whole thing, was there a rehearsal? What was the process for them to make such a great connection? They actually uh, came for dinner to my place and uh, in London and we uh, talked and we wined and dined and uh, I don't think I mean it's, it's a matter of luck you know, either there is chemistry or there is not and I was lucky enough that there was there's something to tell about actors like that when they're so vulnerable and I felt like all their scenes together they're so vulnerable physically emotionally everything you could just see it there's no constrictions at all that how freeing is it as a, as a filmmaker to see your actors Actors really just go for it, and or was there maybe some restrictions in the back that they were holding back against? Well, I guess you know they're all professionals and they know what they do, hopefully, um, and you just have to let them play and have fun. Was there a lot of improvisation in this film that you kind of allowed it? Or? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's everything in the script at the end of the day, so there is always the margin for uh, improvisation, but, you know, it's in the script. We finally wanted to ask you about Mick Jagger. I was stunned. I didn't, he's got some acting chops. He has some, like, I would have never imagined that. Did it surprise you how good of an actor that he really is? I mean, we knew he's a great performer, but as an actor, he, he really was terrific. Well, yeah, I would seen his previous movies, I mean, it didn't do many, but the ones he did, they were very good. So I knew he could act, and I proved himself a good actor again. And when you were someone like Donald Sutherland, I mean, 85, I can't believe, not only the man doesn't look the age, but he's so present in every scene, and just, what was it like, do you learn something from an actor like that when you're on set with someone like that, like a master? Yeah, I mean, you know, you cannot really direct Donald Sutherland, he directs you. <laughs> but, uh, uh, he was such a gentleman, and uh, just a gentle soul, so it was all very smooth, and I learned a lot. Yeah. Yeah, Giuseppe, I enjoyed the film. Thank you so much. Great to talk to you again.